Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be about the Lego Commander app. Connecting to it, I've done some videos connecting to it, but I want to just make it a lot clearer for this video. And I also want you to show you some options you have of controlling your robot. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Okay guys, so all you're gonna need for, you know, remote controlling your Lego Mindstorms EV3 robot, obviously is your robot. And you're gonna need some type of device with the Lego Commander app. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to connect to it and show you some of your options you have for controlling it. So let's go to it. Okay, first things first, we wanna make sure on the fourth tab that our Bluetooth is turned on. And you also want to make sure, unless you're using an iPhone, you want to make sure that is not checked if you're using an Android. Uh, I have an Android phone, so I'm going to make sure that this is not check marked. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up your Commander app. Um, usually it's kind of defaults to this EverStorm, but you just keep scrolling until you get to create and command your own robot. We're going to go ahead and select that. We're going to go ahead and hit any one of these plus signs. And the joystick defaults to the, you know, the first control option that you see. So if you want to go with joystick, we're going to go ahead and hit this plus sign. There's the joystick. And what we're going to now do is go down to this wrench in the lower right. And we're going to be looking for your device. And the Hino robot's already there, so. That's a good um, reason why you should name your robot, so that way, um, you know, if all of your robots are EV3, it's gonna be really hard to know which robot you're hooking into. So it's always good to change the name of your Brit, so it's easy to connect to. And if everything goes right, we are now able to control this robot with the joystick. Okay, so we're hooked in. Um, sometimes I tell my students, or even I have to tell myself, to turn my phone upside down because the controls are backwards. So you just need to can hold your robot in such a way that, you know, it just helps you to know which one's up or down. Okay, so there's the joystick controlling. Let's now go to the horizontal slider. Okay, if you don't want the joystick, let's now go to the horizontal slider. Now what you'll have to do here is make sure you pick the right port. So let's have a port for B and we'll hit the plus sign. And then we'll have a port for C and we'll hit that plus sign. So you'll have two horizontal sliders for each port, and then you'd probably want to turn your phone this way. So let's go ahead and hook in to my robot again. And now, let me just show you what each one's going to do. So I'm just, you know, pulling up each slider and showing you what the controls do. And if I want to go forward, then I just, I'll move both of these up at the same time. Okay, that was backwards. And there's forwards. Um, myself and my students included don't necessarily like the sliders, sometimes they will be hard to push, you know, press and push up. Um, it's just one of those things where you have to figure out what you like and what you don't like. Um, but it's really hard to control both at the same time, especially if you're wanting to do a forward. 
So let's move on to another control option. Okay, so if you don't want a horizontal slider, you can have a vertical slider. I'm not going to actually hook into this one because it's the same as the horizontal. You're just going to have a different... Let me make sure... You're just going to have a different way of having a slider. So you know how we I turn my phone this way. I guess this would be a way of you holding your phone, maybe the upright way. So now you can control your uh, robot with these. So let's just move on from here. Okay, let's move on to the left and right tilt. This will be just like your sliders. You're going to need two of these, and it will just do left and right. So let's just do the B motor there, and then hook into here. We'll connect to this Hino robot again. Now what you'll have to do is you're going to have to press on this button and it will, depending on how I tilt it, it will make it go back and forth. Um, but you're right. The only thing that's going right now is this B motor. So if I want to change this, here's what I'll do. I'm going to go ahead and put this B motor off to the side a little bit. So that's, so that's there. And then I'll come over here and add the other one for the other C motor. So now I have two of these tilts. But I know what you're thinking, Mr. Hino, it's only going to go left and right. And you're correct. So if I press this, I'm controlling that B motor. If I press down here, now I can do the C motor. But you know, if you're doing some type of competition, you are correct. There is no forward or backwards. So let's go to now where we would have full access tilt. Okay, so let's go to what I consider to be probably your best option. So there's the forward and the backwards. I'm not going to you know, connect into that because the same as the, you know, the side to side or left and right. But the one that my students and I really like is this two axis tilt. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and keep this the way it is because my motors are in B and C. So that's exactly what I want. And then let's go ahead and hook in. There's the Hino robot. So what's really nice about this is when I press this button and I can now control both ways. Just by the way I tilt my phone. So I still have to press, you know, the button. But all I have to do now is rotate my phone and it will move in the way I want it to go. So there's backwards, there's my forwards. So it's just going to take a matter of you getting used to the controls. But that's the neat thing about the full axis tilt is now I can do left, right, and forward and backwards, but I got to, again, make sure that I'm pressing this down or else that doesn't work. Okay guys, so those of you that have not ventured into the Lego Commander app, it's really fun. You can take any Mindstorms robot and control it as long as you know what ports your motors and sensors are plugged into. It's a really cool thing to do if you have a robot and you know, you're know you done programming with it and you want to do some other cool stuff like controlling it yourself. So if you haven't, check it out. It's really cool. Okay, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.
Jack it up. He's up. 